This is a burger I sent up to space. And this is that same burger landing on someone's front drive. What the hell is this? Why has it got a burger on it? Believe it or not, today I'm sending food up to space and then delivering it to people. But let me tell you how this is possible. This is Dr. Alex and Dr. Chris from Sent Into Space, and they specialize in sending things to space. Lucky for me, they have built me a prototype that will allow me to take food up to literal space. But this food hasn't come from nowhere. See, we've also partnered with Unit Sheffield to supply us with a pizza, a burger, some chips, and a milkshake, which we will then be delivering to random civilians who have made orders. The food has been nailed in, and in some cases stuck with resin into the packaging to stop it from falling out. So let's see if this works. It's launch time. The way this is possible is through weather balloons, which will take our food up to space. There are two separate balloons, one with pizza and chips, and the other with a burger and a milkshake. But the milkshake I'm keeping for myself. Yeah, I like milkshakes. Okay, let's go. Food, lift. Ah, it's gone up. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the reason this food is going up into space. I'm sending them up into the atmosphere. Without me, they wouldn't be able to make it happen. And that's what's so sick about it. Um, I guess now we just move on to the second balloon. Oh, great. I thought I was doing it! He took my big moment away from me. But look, off they go! The pizza! My milkshake! I didn't even get to say goodbye! I'll see you soon. This is what I went to university for. And became a doctor for. Like the 11 years of study to send fast food high up the earth. Just so I can deliver it. Yeah. You're welcome, man. This is just the start of it, Nico. Now they're in the air, the most important part of the process. We need to get underneath this. We're going to drive to our simulated launch site. We need to make sure you're underneath it when they're returning to Earth. So let's saddle up, let's go. Oh, we've got to go. We got to go. Jeez, we did, didn't even get a second to, to take it all in. We need it to be fast as the wind carries the food as it goes up to space, meaning it's probably going to land a very long way away, which is why we have this tracking device that monitors the food's movement to give us the best chance of reaching it before it lands and try our best. To catch it. Let's go, let's roll, let's roll, let's roll. Are we tight for time? We are tight for time because we're going a long way and it's going a long way. All right, let's roll. Okay, so we've just passed the height of Kilimanjaro. So we are, how, how high is that in the sky? That is five, eight, nine, five meters. Yeah, there's no coming back now. We've just passed the height of Everest. We're now over nine kilometers into the sky. NDL deliveries have reached Everest just reach a height that's higher than any commercial aircraft will be flying today. Okay, Nico, the time has come. We have just passed 19 kilometers, which is the boundary into near space. Our food is in space. Ladies and gentlemen, the NDL have been sent into space. Let's go, round of applause. The food that we will be delivering to customers is now in space. That's NDL branding right there, in space as well. It's been lifted 70,000 feet into the air, enduring freezing cold temperatures. We have really reached new heights, my friends, but these heights won't be permanent, as the balloons we have attached are not gonna last very long in that atmosphere. See, as the pressure of the gas inside the balloon expands, the pressure on the outside of the balloon decreases, meaning the forces are out of balance, which basically means big balloon go pop pop. down towards Earth at around 250 miles per hour and when it falls a little further into the atmosphere a parachute will then open it nice and safely but the question is am I gonna be able to catch my milkshake we might just be able to make it in time bro yeah if we're really quick the food is now on its way back to Earth we're rushing down the motorway so let's just hope we can make it in time we drove at the highest speeds to get there in time and meanwhile the package was falling. 
very fast. All right, we're just 10 kilometers away from London now. We're really close. But how can I make sure I catch it? Oh, you need Chris to uh, drive a little bit quicker. Well, we're 20 minutes away from the expected landing site. You keep me up to date on anything that you see the changes. I'll get us there. I mean, at the minute, we're looking like we're going to get there at the same time. So it's possible. It's still on the cars. But my friends, would I, Nico or Milana, be able to catch a package from space? Is it landing? I think it might be just landing ahead of us. Come on, come on, don't tell me that, don't tell me that. How high off the ground have we got? We have got 400 meters to go. We can make it, we can make it. Oh no, man. Foot down, foot down. Literally one minute away, one minute 20 seconds to drive it. I've got 200 meters. Oh, That's nearly God. down. Next left, this is the last left. Here, here, here. Nice peel. It could, could be seen at any minute. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. It's coming down behind those farms. Nico, get ready. Door open as soon as I pull up into this field. Right, go, 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 go. Everyone out. Oh, 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 Oh man, the NDL coming in hot with pizza. So that's not very hot, that's freezing cold. You can, you can literally see the frozen particles of the pizza and it's leaking. Oh my, it's peeing. George, zoom in on the pizza peed in space. That was there before, bro. That's disgusting. Let me see if I can nab one of these chips. How's it? That's disgusting. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Lucky for me, I don't have to eat these disgusting chips. NDL deliveries will be giving them to the people. But we still had one more package arriving from space and conveniently, it landed on someone's front drive. So peaceful, a random man inspecting his car doesn't even realise a package has landed from outer space. But when they discovered it, I'm telling you, their conversation is hilarious. Hey, Have you ordered some up? I just looked out of your kitchen window. What the hell is this? Why has it got a burger on it? I don't know, mate. It's a joke, isn't it? Do you want to put a bet on it? There's a scam involved in it somewhere. Possibly. Possibly. Well, it's got a tracker on it. That's definitely a tracker. Is that right? Ah. Yeah. Because I, th I thought, for, first of all, it's somebody's delivery or something. <laughs> anyway, you've got a free lunch out of it. <laughs> These hooligans wanted the food for themselves. They're trying to steal from us and what's worse, they dropped my burger on the floor. And then they started talking random conspiracy theories on where it came from. Where was I before when I took the dog for a walk? There was an aeroplane going round and round and round here. And if that's a, a parachute, someone's chucked it out. Well, they got the unit. Well, maybe they're searching for it. Maybe it's it got lost over searching for it. But big up to these crackhead conspiracy theorists as they put my dirty burger back on the rig and left it at the front, which was perfect for when we arrived to pick it up. That is ridiculous. <laughs> there it is. Oh, wow. Right on the front of someone's house. I'd say that is a pretty frozen burger. I can give you the world's coldest milkshake on Space Shake for you. The first milkshake from space, and I'm, I'm, I'm willing to put money on that. Let's try this. <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> It's good, we're clear, I'm alive. I guess I'll finish drinking this shake and we'll get back to the unit HQ and start the deliveries. But no more time can be wasted. NDL deliveries is about to begin. Unit have opened their restaurant and are now accepting orders, but little do their customers know, the food is from literal space. We went back to HQ, removed the food from the rig and set off back to unit. But unfortunately, we were already late. I mean, that's probably what happens when food comes from space. How late is it right now? Two hours. Okay, let, let's just tell them that their food's on the way now. Hello? Yo, yo, is this Richard? It is, yeah. Sorry, you've been waiting for your food? Yeah. How long have you been waiting? Just so I know, I'm just the manager, I'm just coming now. An hour and ten minutes. We'll be on the way now. You're not going to complain or anything, are you? If it's fresh and warm now, I'm not going to be complaining. You could say it's fresh. We'll be with you in a second, all right? All right, yeah. So, he wants fresh food when the food was cooked about seven hours ago I and mean, then it went to space on the in the meantime so I don't think you know I'm gonna get the best reviews from that but don't worry it'll all be worth it in the end well before we start these deliveries I need to get into uniform and by uniform I mean space suit. 
So this is me in a spacesuit, my friends. Like the video right now. As you can see, we've gone so extra for this vid. So like it up and let's get into these deliveries. All right, let's go. First delivery. Hello. 50 that, that is a surprise. This food went to space. Oh, right. The chips are actually inedible because there's resin inside, which uh, would actually kill you if you ate oh, it. Right. Here's a picture of your, your burger in space, and there's a picture of the chips in space as well. Right. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Would you say this is better than normal deliveries? It's certainly, uh, yeah, very different. My cat's now very interested in... Uh, oh, is this your cat? It is, yeah. You ever seen a spaceman before, cat? Do you yeah. want to try a space chip? Uh, I'm all right if you're saying the resin is poisonous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it, it is poisonous. So will we get five stars? We will get five stars, yeah. Five stars on a late delivery. We have actually got you proper food. Thank, thank you, you for supporting you, Nick. Yeah. And thank you for supporting the NDL. Let's keep moving. The first order was a success, so we moved on to the next delivery. All right, mate. Sorry, as you can see, there's frost on your burger. It's oh, it's grand. It's no because way. Um, it was sent to space. Oh. Oh, yeah. Just like some kind of prank. It's not a prank. Like it's all cold and. Yeah, no, it's cold. It's freezing. You're one of the first people in the world to have food from space right in front of you. Well, it's great to be the first, but I mean, is it edible? No, there's a little bit of soil on top of there. Some guy kicked it down into the mud. I had a milkshake as well. See, I drank your milkshake. <laughs> Nothing else was edible, you know, because I saw the milkshake. I got a bit excited and drank it. Hey, man, you see this? This food yeah. went to space. So Patrick, I'm gonna have to love you and leave you, but we do have food for you from Unit. Unit, there's your milkshake as well. And that doesn't matter if it's cold. Bye -bye. Peace out. Hi, mate. Unit, yeah? Yeah, Unit. Nico, what are you doing here? What do you mean? Why are you got my flat? You wanted a pizza, right? Nah. What'd you order? Burger. Well, I brought you a pizza, but the pizza's been to space. Has it? Yeah. That's oh, pretty cool. Let me show you a picture of your pizza in space. Yeah. You think I'm joking? No, no, I believe you, man. My burger got to space as well. Yes. You see the frost? Oh, yeah. While it was going up to space, it froze. You don't look like a smart man because you don't believe that this food actually went to space. Yeah. You know what? You don't even deserve this burger. What do you mean? You don't deserve yeah, it. It's no. not yours. I'm just going to leave you here. You can try and call up, complain, do whatever you need to do. I don't But if there's one person on this earth who doesn't deserve food, it's you. Unit! Give him one second. I'm gonna get my shoes, yeah? He said give him one second. Drop the food on his door and let's go. Don't give him the time. Take off my helmet. Go, 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 go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> as much as I wanted to completely ditch him, I couldn't stomach leaving this helpless fool behind. The one thing which is really confusing me with this video is the fact that people are seeing a full-on Donny in a spacesuit and asking no questions, no questions at all. It's like it's completely normal to them. Hi mate, I see you ordered the new item on our menu, the pizza. So we've decided to give you out of this world food, literally. <laughs> Sorry about the chips, you can see it's got like, they're leaking a little bit. Can you see that? The pizza, we had to put a screw in it. The cheese looks a bit off, but there you go as well. It's unusual. Your food okay. was basically oh. sent into space. <laughs> that was the one fact which I decided to leave out. That food was sent out, out of space, out of wow. this world. Wow. Wow, indeed. <laughs> What's your name? Amen. Amen. Chunks is intro. Sorry? Chunks is intro. You know Amen. Chunks? Yep. You were named after his intro? Yeah. Hey, Amen. Yeah. Hey, Amen. You literally said it just then. <laughs> Unit, come through! This is your food. Thank you. Thank you. Keep watching Chunks' videos. You have Thank a great you. day. Wow. It's not every day you meet Chunks' intro. Can't take your call right now. Let me in. I've got your food here. So please let me in. All right, well, that didn't work. All right, if they don't want to come out here and take the food, I'm going to take it out on the food itself. Deserved. This is what happens. Yo, yo, okay. What is it you got? Your chips and burger? Did you just drop them? Though? No, no, I didn't drop them. Oh, I don't know for. I was just tying my shoelaces. I don't know. We're not going to take Wait, why? Why? No. Hello? Hello? Can't take your call right now. No, I'm really sorry. Basically, I accidentally dropped your food because it went, got sent up to space. So please come back, please. I'm so sorry. All right? Please return to me. Thank you so much. No one actually realizes that when you go to space, no one really seems to appreciate how incredible that is. And I think that just means that the world's not ready for space food. I don't think anyone's ever tried this hard to help out a random business, but it was all worth it because I knew how grateful they'd be. From your perspective, how did the big launch day go? 
went terrible. What, what do you mean by that? Probably me wrong. How long did the deliveries take it to deliver? Well, a couple of hours, but the foods were sent up into space. So I'm sure it's worth it for all of them. They were fuming, absolutely vexed. Why you meant to help us take our business to space and back? Yeah. I did. I took you to space and back. Now you're complaining. I don't know if you'll recover. You did not deliver at all. Well, I did. I literally delivered packages to the front doors. Okay, listen. I'm sorry that your customers are pussies. But at the end of the day, we've delivered on our side. If anything, I think you should be grateful. Okay. All right. All I wanted to do was help a new business while also leaving my mark, but instead, they all hate me, and my beautiful idea will be left in the wilderness to rot and decay. I hate this game, but all you can do is like the video, subscribe, and please subscribe to Sent Into Space. Without them, this wouldn't have been possible, so let's make sure they get the love they deserve, because Unit hate us. Big up Unit, though. Still got love for them. Join the NDL, my friends, and buy some hoodies from shopndl.com.